Well, while I failed to give you a review of this last year for its anniversary, but now I'm finally going to give you a review of this Easter special that I don't think gets a lot of talk about. And it's from the guys who brought us Rudolph and Frosty, Rankin Bass. Rankin Bass or what? Well, I prefer it, Rankin Bass, but you be the judge. Here's my review of The Easter Bunny is Coming to Town. Big days. Entertainment rankings and reviews. So greetings, my fellow YouTubers, and happy Easter. Welcome to Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. My name is Dual, better known to us the Big D. And this time around, I bring to you a review of the 1977 musical Easter television special, The Easter Bunny is Coming to Town, produced by Rankin Bass using their Am Magic Stop Motion Animation. The special originally premiered on ABC in April of 1977. It reunites the writer Romeo Muller, designer Paul Coker Jr., and narrator Fred Astaire from Santa Claus is Coming to Town back together. Of course, um, Astaire reprises his role as uh, S.D. Kluger, you may remember from Santa Claus is Coming to Town. This sort of serves as a semi-sequel or kind of a, well, a semi-sequel spinoff, or I don't know, what have you of that. Or special. It also features the voices of Skip Hennant, Bob, Bob McFadden, and Alan Swift. Anyway, now Kluger returns as a train engineer where he is now on the train known as Chugs. But Still, Kluger is still a mailman to answer questions about the Easter Bunny in the children's lairs, similar to what he did with the children's lairs in Santa Claus is Coming to Town. Now, the story begins in the small town of Kidville, run by all orphaned children, including Kluger himself when he was a child, and located on the other side of Big Rock Mountain. They, the children enjoy the simple life, despite being barred by it. A big bear named Gadzooks, who hates everything to do with the holidays, including birthdays. One Easter morning, they find an orphaned baby rabbit and raise him as their own, and name him Sunny when they notice how much he likes the warm sun. Sunny, now one year old, makes plans with the children to sell what they make in exchange for what they need, including their eggs with help from three chickens called the Hendrew Sisters. Well, as Sonny sets off to deliver his eggs, he, along the way he meets an eccentric and yet friendly hobo named Hallelujah Jones, who just suggests to him that he could sell his eggs in a town that's just called Town. However, Sonny runs into Gadzooks on his way up the mountain, and he steals his eggs. After escaping, Sonny makes it to town, which is a dreary, dismal place. Just like Summertown was in Santa Claus is Coming to Town. But however, in this in town, nobody laughs and everyone dresses in dark clothing. And if any children are born, the whole family has to move away and beans are in for every meal by order of the ruthless Dowager Duchess Lily Longtooth, who wants her seven-year-old nephew, King Bruce the Frail, to follow in her footsteps. But he complains about always having to eat beans and wanting to be a normal child. Uh, instead of being a king, despite his aunt's objections. Well, soon, Saint heads, who is sad by this, he returns to Kidville and explains the problem. With Hallelujah's help, plus the children, they paint the eggs by dipping them in various bowls of paint. He manages to pull one off on Getzooks and and pretending that his colored eggs are paperweights. Well, with actually they're colored stones as paperweights. But he lets him go, demanding him he bring him eggs. Well, Sonny makes it to town again and passes his eggs to all the townspeople, including King Bruce, who crowns him the Easter Bunny, Royal Knight of the Rainbow Eggs. 
But Lily, of course, catches them in the end and is disappointed why you outlaws eggs and all that stuff. But soon they manage to get some more help and make the first Easter jelly beans. Why? But soon after that, things continue to take a few turns and what have you and what have you. But that's all I'm really going to give to you on this story. I'm not going to give the whole story away. If you want to know the rest, how the story turned out, I suggest you watch the, the special itself. You can find the special on YouTube. So, if you like um, Santa Claus is Coming to Town, I think you might feel right at home with the Easter Bunny is Coming to Town. Well, it's probably not one of the most talked about ranking based specials, but even so, I think I really like it after seeing it a few times. Now, which reminds me, I'm actually dedicating this video in memory to Jules Bass, who we sadly lost last October. Yes, he passed away in October 2022, so it's kind of been a half a year since. So, it, well, it has been a half a year since we lost him. So, rest in peace. I hope you met your old partner, Arthur Rankin Jr. up there. But anyway, I think their use of AM magic was absolutely really good. Mari Laws does the, com well, composes the score for this. Fred Astaire, once again, does a great job as Kluger. Now, for the rest of the cast, we have Skip Hennant, who most people know him best from PBS's The Electric Company, which was in its final season at the time. And um, he voices Sonny, and I must admit, he does a very good job. Now, Chugs is voiced by Bob McFadden, who recently lent his voice to numerous programs and what have you. Hang on, please. Sorry about that. We'll see that does not happen again. Where was I? Oh, yes. Now, McFadden had recently lent his voice to numerous cartoons, including Cool McCool and, um, oh, and, and a few others. Well, this would be his second uh, Rank and Bass special after he recently did Jingle Bells in the Year Without Santa Claus, which came out three years before this. He'd also go on to take part of a few other their um, rank and base special, well, well, other things, including the life and adventures of Santa Claus. He'd also lend his voice to the studio's hit TV series Thundercats, where he voiced Snarf and several other characters on the show, as well as their next-to-last series, Silverhawks. So, anyway, yeah, he did a pretty good job. He also voiced an old man in this. Meg Sargent voices Lily, who, yes, who is kind of the, act, well, the other antagonist, and, well, kind of like Burger Meister, Meister Burger from Santa Claus is Coming to Town. Yeah, she's kind of mean at times, but soon she changes. Trust me. Anyway, um, let's see. James Spies voices King Bruce. I must admit, he was very good as well. Alan Swift, who recently lent his voice to numerous tunes, as well, including um, um, The King and Oli and Underdog. He also did um, the voice acting for some characters on Howie D. He voiced Gadzooks and numerous other characters. So anyway, I will say he did a good job too, but there's a host of others and what have you. So, anyway, I thought the songs weren't too bad either. So, again, the Easter Bunny is coming to town. I think it's really good. I do think it's great. Again, you can find the full special on YouTube. So, check it out if you haven't. So, but what did you think of this special? I would recommend this if you're into ranking based holiday specials. So, so, if you like this video, click the like button. And if you've seen it, let me know in the comment section. Subscribe and be a part of the Big D Nation. And stay tuned, we'll have another video coming up soon. So thanks for watching, and if you like this, check out these other types of bunnies and what have you, I didn't vid. In the upper left-hand corner is my review of Peter Rabbit. The upper right-hand corner is my review of its sequel, Peter Rabbit to the Runway. Or go to the bottom left-hand corner and see my review of Here Comes Peter Cottontail, which was also from Rankin Base in 1971. In the bottom right-hand corner is the button you can click to subscribe if you like rankings and reviews. 
on movies, TV, music, video games, etc., then I'm your guy. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm the Big D saying see ya.